This is breaking news from the 7 Action Newsroom. Yeah, we want to go straight to that breaking news. It's out of Detroit where crews are working to put out a fire on the east side. And we are learning that it's causing road closures and traffic backups as a result. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has been live at the scene gathering more information. Kim, what's the latest? If you drive Gratiot to work, you could have some problems this morning. To give you an idea of where I am, I'm on Gratiot between Van Dyke and I-94. Not only are you going to have to deal with lanes closed because of this fire, but you're going to have to deal with some, come on, you know it, stupid drivers. I want to give you a quick lesson in case you're coming out here. You see that police car right there? What that officer is doing by sitting there in the middle of the road is blocking the westbound lanes. Yeah, again and again, people keep trying to pass him and drive westbound in the eastbound lane, so be very careful. It's, I've seen so many close calls, I'm worried there's gonna be a head-on collision. Now take a look at this video of the fire earlier. It was quite intense. Firefighters say they got out here around 4.45 in the morning and the flames were throughout. So what they did, they got out the ladder truck, they started dumping water on top, they got hoses from the ground. They didn't put firefighters inside because they figured this was a dangerous building. There had been fires here before. So this fire continues and lanes of grass it remain closed the fire captain out here says the fire is suspicious some sort of arson there's there's no other reason to call there's no power there's no gas so it, it had to someone had to come 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 in and set the fire as you can see fire crews are making progress as they work to fight this fire the flames have died down although they still have quite a bit of work to do. As for how long they expect to be out here, blocking lanes of Gratiot at Roans between Van Dyke and I-94, they say possibly another hour. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.